Ethics and Moral Theories The term ethics generally describes the way we look at and understand life situations in terms of good and bad or right and wrong. Moral theories are the frameworks we use to justify or clarify our position or action when we ask ourselves, what choice would I make in this situation? Or, for me, what is right or wrong? There are many moral theories, none of which are completely right. They overlap and often borrow from one another. Virtue Ethic Theory Dates back to Aristotle, also referred to as agent-based or character ethic. The virtue ethic theory judges a person by his character rather than by an action that may deviate from his normal behavior. For example, if a person plagiarized a passage that was later detected by a peer, the peer who knows the person well will understand the person's character and will be able to judge the friend. If the plagiarizer normally follows the rules and has good standing amongst his colleagues, the peer who encounters the plagiarized passage may be able to judge his friend more leniently. Perhaps the researcher had a late night or simply forgot to credit the source appropriately. Conversely, a person who has a reputation for methodically misconduct is more likely to be judged harshly for plagiarizing because of his consistent past and unethical behavior. Utilitarianism Theory Jeremy Bentham was an early and influential advocate of utilitarianism, the dominant consequentialist position. A utilitarian believes in the greatest happiness for the greatest number. The choice that yields the greatest benefit to the most people is the choice that is ethically correct. Consider the following scenario. A doctor is working in an emergency room of a hospital. A homeless man is brought in with brain damage sustained in a traffic accident. The doctor recognizes him. The man has no family and his physical and mental health is reasonably good. The doctor knows there is still time to save the man's life. He also knows that if he does not start treatment, the man will suffer brain death and his organs could possibly be used to improve the quality or even save several other people's lives. Assuming there is no penalty associated with either choice, what would a strict utilitarian do? Save the man's life? Or contact a transplant team to ready them to harvest any available organs? The doctor would allow the man to die and try to use his organs to save as many people as possible. This would bring the greatest happiness to the greatest number of people. Deontology theory, or Kantianism, is an obligation-based theory whose principal author is Immanuel Kant, who lived in the 18th century. This theory emphasizes the type of action rather than the consequences of that action. Deontologists believe that moral decisions should be made based on one's duties and the rights of others. According to Kant, morality is based on pure reason, as people have the innate ability to act rationally, they therefore must act morally regardless of personal desire. Another way of stating Kant's theory is to act morally regardless of the consequences. In the case of the doctor and the homeless man, again assuming that there is no penalty for either decision, what would a deontologist do? Save the man's life or contact the transplant team to ready them to harvest any of the available organs? The doctor would save the man's life as it is his duty to treat the patient. The fact that several people's lives might be improved by allowing the man to die would not justify making that decision.